everyone, it's Pokedon Zada here. Welcome to our educational video series. And today we we'll walk into a new tutorial about how to use Fella App 2.0. But first, we we'll give you an overview of Fella App 2.0. Let's go. Fella App 2.0 is an upgraded version of the popular decentralized application platform, Fella Network. Built on top of the Polkadot blockchain, Fella App 2.0 aims to offer users an even more secure and privacy-focused decentralized application experience. About the advantages of Fella 2.0, users can create and deploy decentralized application steps that are fully encrypted and shielded from an authorized access. This is made possible through the platform's unique, confidential computing technology, which ensures that data is kept private and secure at all times. Now let's go to learn how to use Vela App 2.0. To begin, enter the Vela App through this link and connect your wallet. And make sure the wallet you want to use has been already installed. And currently, there are three options for you to choose, but we're going for Talisman. Next, we'll be redirected to the main dashboard where we can view all of the access on the network. At the top of the page, we'll see our PH8 access divided into two categories, the token balance of PH8 and the total value of the delegation. The token balance of the PH8 here includes our transferable PH8 and locked PH8 tokens. The portfolio chart is located in the middle of this page. It records the historical trends of the total value of the two listed categories of access within the address. Bulletin board will display relevant information such as announcements, articles, videos, and so on. This new feature is located in the upper right corner of the dashboard page. A list for both tokens and NFTs is also included below, where you can easily view all of our access in our account on the network. Next up, let's go to Delegate. At the top, we can view the latest stages of the entire network. It can be compared to our delegation information to confirm whether our delegation status is normal. Below, we can also view our total delegation amount, the number of delegation entities we hold in a delegation status in the vault and stack pool. On the right is the historical trend of our total delegation amount. And at the bottom of the page, the vault and stack pool list are displayed. We can alternate between each list via the button. Clicking a pool's card will display its information and allow you to directly delegate to it. Additionally, the vault enables us to choose between using the main account or any vault controlled under the account to delegate to stack pools. We can switch between accounts by clicking the button in the top delegation status column. Please note that when we use a vault account, it cannot be used to delegate to other vaults. Let's return to the item above and select My Delegate. On this page, we can view more detailed delegation information, as well as a scattered distribution of different delegations in terms of value and APR. Besides, we will have detailed information about Delegation NFTs here we can switch between two types of image picture information and card information. We can click on any pool to view its details. Vault. Here we can view its current information as well as its historical data. The graph is still troll. The owner of the pool can set a series of contact methods to make it easier for users to contact them. And at the bottom, we find a reminder of withdrawal queues in a pool. When there is a withdrawal queue in the pool, the critical time will be displayed here to remind the pool owner when the withdrawal queues needs to be cleaned up. The existing withdrawal queues will be listed here, and if we also have withdrawn delegation in this pool, we can check it right here. Stack pool. Here is the same with the vault page. The only differences are in the delegation information section. We can switch between the main account and the vault managed under the account. At the bottom of the page, there is no longer a list of delegation NFTs, but a list of the workers. A stable owner can manage the workers here, add workers, or change the status. Stable users can also find the information about the workers here. In the section form contains my vaults page and my stick pools page. My vault page. 
Here we can create and manage votes and receive rewards for being a vote owner. The operation here is very simple. Click the gear to modify the vote information and click the arrow to view more information about the vote. At the same time, we can mean a reward NFT for the vote owner and claim the NFT to our target account. In vote, the owner's reward is collected in two steps, which is different from the stake pool. My stake pool's page is completely similar. Same gears and arrows and a button to claim rewards. Stake pool owner rewards are issued directly in the form of PHA tokens, so only one step is required to claim them. Vote owner rewards are issued in the form of vote delegation NFT, so two steps are required. First, mean the NFT and then claim the NFT. We have two other options in Fala App 2.0, Sockbridge and DAO. However, these two applications have been upgraded to stand-alone applications. Pokedot Insider will provide detailed information as well as the usage in the following videos. And that's a video about how to use Fala App 2.0. And if you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe to Pokedot Insider for more insightful videos. And now, bye!